Um, I am very pleased to uh, greet you today. We have a number of key things that we want to accomplish. Uh, the first off is uh, welcome you back. Anyone learn anything in the last three days? I learned something in the last three minutes. So uh, it's a new word, by the way. Uh, and, and, and our keynote, Randy Nelson, shared it with me. When you are standing over someone's shoulder as they are forced to enter a password and you want to look away so as not to see their password, this is a phrase, password, password. <laughs> It's when you, there's a number of different techniques that could, and lots of different ways to do it, I think. So I, I invite all of you to explore your own password when you're confronted with that challenge. Because none of us never stand near people when they're typing in passwords. No, right? We're not over the shoulder. It's, it's a, a useful word. Thank you, Randy, for sharing that. So I've learned something in the last three minutes. Uh, it's been a tremendous conference. I, uh, I hopefully you've learned something as you shared. Uh, take that back, share it with you. Uh, if you wanted to find out more about the uh, string quartet that we've just been listening to, go to psband.org uh, and uh, see if there's anything else you can do and help them out uh, next time you're in town. Um, hopefully you've been using our Q guide online, thanks to sked.org. It's a great tool. And uh, hopefully you've been able to use it to uh, actually enter your evaluations. This is how we get better as a conference. And you just go ahead and click that button there and share what your thoughts are. Um, we want to thank our conference sponsors, the good folks at Epson's that provide all the projectors that we saw in all the rooms. Uh, wouldn't be able to do it without them. Thank you, Epson. Insight Systems that uh, provided the uh, Windows-flavored co computers that you saw at the, at the uh, conference. That's thanks to Insight Systems Exchange. And uh, Discovery, uh, who sent us the uh, incredible Matt Mongin. We want to thank uh, Discovery for sending, uh, sending his expertise our way. Good friends there. I have a quick correction. I, I shared la yesterday when Diane was speaking that uh, the uh, only human with a perfect 100 score on clout that has more influence on, inter on, the, on Twitter than Diane Ravitch is Justin Bieber. Uh, I have since been told that it is now Lady Gaga. <laughs> My apologies to both. <laughs> Um, I also have, uh, here's the actual reference, in case you were wondering where I got that. At the time I said it, it was correct. Uh, not, well, not the time I said it. At the time I read it, it was correct. Uh, Justin Bieber was number one. Uh, and the source, of course, because I always like to cite my sources, uh, I was just rushed yesterday. Uh, Diane has listed, it, you can see, number one. Uh, and this is from Education Next in October. And, of course, you can all scribble that URL down. But if you want to find it quickly, you could just search for all a Twitter about education. It pops up pretty quickly. Uh, but uh, great list, by the way. And there's a number of educational technology folks that are on that list um, of, of influential educators. Just a couple more announcements. Uh, yesterday I announced something about YouTube and a new partnership in which Q will be curating videos um, on their behalf and, and your behalf. And we uh, are hoping to, to leverage your expertise in this realm. And, and when you recommend something that we can know, oh, this is, this is a Q member. They, they know their stuff. So we're going to leverage that. But one thing I, I, uh, that came to me uh, afterwards, a number of you said, oh, I'd love to do this, but my school can't access YouTube. It's blocked. My district that blocks it. Um, so I, uh, I talked to the YouTube folks, and they have, a, they have a solution for that. It's called YouTube for Schools. And this was rolled out a few months ago, and it gives IT directors, CTOs, ed, ed tech coordinators, whoever is controlling the reins to the, uh, the filter, uh, the ability to actually uh, turn off comments, turn off the recommended videos, and create a space within YouTube that is uh, generally allowable within schools and districts. If you're interested in that, it's at YouTube dot com slash schools and it might very well be a way for you to go ahead and start using those videos in the classroom so if you have more questions or want more information about that uh, I can certainly help you out or uh, Danny Silva can help you out or any in the number of the Google certified teachers that we've got floating around at the conference uh, a couple more announcements this is brand new uh, breaking news the press release is going out next week uh, there's a great event in Boston uh, I've not been able to go I've heard amazing things one of the members of our board actually is involved in this conference and is there every year uh, and raves about it it's called the Building Learnings Communities uh, Conference. It's this year, it's 2012, and it's in July. It's the 15th through the 20th, if you count all the days. Uh, they invited Q to actually produce some pre-conference workshops. And so we'll be there on the 16th and 17th, uh, Monday, Tuesday of that week, producing uh, content. Would you like me to name the board member? <laughs> Lainey Rowell. <laughs> Lainey Rowell is, is the, the board member I was obliquely referencing. She's just so shy, I just didn't want to embarrass her. 
So, uh, yes, thank you, Lainey, uh, for giving us the feedback on this great event. Uh, so we're calling it Q at BLC. Danny Silva is in charge of running the, uh, the content. Uh, we'll send out a great team there. And in exchange for us providing that, uh, those, those workshops, they're offering all Q members a $150 discount to attend, um, which is significant. <laughs> so uh, we'll send out more details uh, to Q members about that in the coming days, but watch for that release in the next week. I'm really excited about that. Uh, one more announcement, Leading Edge Certification, which I announced from this stage last year, uh, launched successfully in June, as we had announced, uh, with the online teacher certification. We are feverishly working on a version two of that curriculum to come out April 4th. Mark your calendars. Version two will include blended learning as well, and we may, in fact, rename the certification online and blended uh, teacher certification. Uh, it's an alliance effort. It's a team effort. Q is one of those alliance members, and we're proud to be part of that alliance. Uh, year two is being led up by our own Roland Baker, who received a Making It Happen Award earlier at this conference. He's the chair of the second year of the alliance, focused on administrative leadership, and there will be an administrator certification that rolls out. And Q board member Kyle Brumbaugh is serving on the uh, team that is helping to build that. So thank you, Kyle, for your participation in that. Uh, Christine Olmsted is actually helping with the, cr the curriculum itself. She may be in the room as well. So Dr. Olmsted, I should say, or Dr. O, if you know her well. Um, so certification, it's, it's an important thing. It's a way for us to demonstrate that we understand that technology isn't just gears and boxes. It is something that can change the way that teaching and learning happens. And this will be the badge that you could put on your website, the bottom of your email address, to demonstrate that you yourself are among those that understand how to use it. So more information at leadingedgecertification.org. Uh, this we announced, Common Sense Media and Q have a partnership. We actually announced that at the Fall Q Conference. What I wanted to add to that announcement is that we are now available to offer professional development on Common Sense Media. If you aren't familiar with this outstanding nonprofit, uh, they have created guides for parents and for educators uh, about the appropriate way to use media in education. Uh, and what I love most about them is that rather than saying, no, turn off, block, censor, uh, their, their, uh, their idea is to embrace uh, media. They, they say that clearly media is enjoyable. Clearly media is a way in which many, many people learn, whether we want them to or not. So why don't we just do, about, do it the right way and be aware of what, what it is we're teaching them with media and what it is that we can utilize and how can we best utilize media. So we have, they have a curriculum that they've developed, and Q is actually able to then deliver that curriculum face-to-face. -face. We had our first Train the Trainers here at this conference on Wednesday, and we've got a cadre of folks ready to go forth and share that, that expertise. So if you're interested in that, you can, again, go to q.org slash common sense media, talk to Danny, uh, and we can roll that out for you. So sorry to hit you with a few more announcements, but it was too much to share all of those yesterday, and I, I wanted to make sure that we got this information out to you in, in not just an email blast, but in something more personal. So uh, those are the fun and exciting things. We now have some awards. It's my pleasure to be able to uh, introduce to you Oh, here we go. Switching tools in live in front of you. Here we go. No net, ladies and gentlemen. But unfortunately, Deborah White uh, had to leave early. Uh, the weather uh, was a concern. And so in her place, the incomparable former chair of the awards committee has been called back into action out of retirement. She thought she was done, but no. Pam Corporal is back again. And uh, with about an hour's notice... She's pulled it together, and we'll uh, share with you the awards uh, for this afternoon. Pam, I'll, I'll leave it to you, and, and I'll, I'll be your Vanna White if that works okay. That'll work. That'll work. We have a microphone for you right there. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. But I do need the notes. So I was guilty when Guy Kawasaki was here before this lovely building existed, and we were in a tent, and I called him a pinch hitter because he came in for a speaker who backed out at the last moment. So I'm your pinch hitter, pinch hitter. So um, we'll see how I do. First off, I'm supposed to thank the committee, which some of these people were on that committee when I was doing it as well. Sarah Armstrong, Jerome Berg, Barbara Canoy, and Hall Davidson, because it takes quite a bit of time to go through all of the applications and look carefully at everyone, so it's really quite fabulous. All right, let's see. The first award we have is the Outstanding Emerging Teacher. And I, I was joking a few moments ago with our recipient that he was the newbie. Um, this one is a computer using award um, Outstanding Emerging Teacher Award recognizes a classroom teacher 
who in the first seven years of their teaching career has made a noteworthy contribution to the educational technology in a classroom setting. So may I introduce Robert Pronovost. Congratulations. Sir. Robert has been teaching for five years in the Bell Haven School in the Ravenswood City School District. And in those five years, Robert has worked to integrate technology into his classroom, as well as support his colleagues in their collaboration and integration of technology. And Robert helped his school secure a grant to provide interactive whiteboards for 10 classrooms. He reaches out to colleagues through presenting at conferences and webinars, and recently presented at the Reading Recovery Council of North America's National Conference in February. Robert would like to thank the Q Board of Directors for this incredible honor, and he would also like to take a moment to thank his recently departed father who inspired Robert's love of technology and education. Robert is excited to continue to grow with his colleagues in the Q community. Excellent. Congratulations. And our next award is the Outstanding Teacher. And this is an affiliate uh, nominated award. And the recipient of this is forward on to ISTE um, for their award ceremony. And the Outstanding Teacher Award recognizes a classroom teacher who has made a noteworthy contribution to educational technology in a classroom setting. Creating standards-based curriculum using technology is the key element in this award, and nominees must be classroom teachers and Q members in good standing. And what you see up here are all the recipients who were nominated by their local affiliates. And our winner is Matt Cawthorn. Congratulations. When you enter Matt's classroom, you are struck by the high level of student engagement in the development of creative projects. Matt is a digital arts teacher at Cathedral City High School and co-founder of the Digital Arts Technology Academy at that school. So he's a local boy. All right. Matt works to ensure that his students master the digital arts technology standards and 21st century skills. Learning experiences beyond classroom are a major part of Matt's work with students. Among other opportunities, his students have photographed the Palm Springs Life magazine annual fashion. Matt would like to thank the Q Board, Kawea Q, and Palm Springs Unified School District for recognizing the arts and the creative use of technology is essential in education and has a positive impact on the lives of the students. Congratulations. Uh, And our final award tonight is um, Site Leader of the Year. Now, this is one of our newer awards, and the Site Leader uh, recognizes a school site principal or assistant principal or equivalent who has made a noteworthy contribution to promoting educational technology within his or her school. Recipients must demonstrate the following. Strong support for the belief that all students will excel academically. Exceptional leadership in finding ways that technology benefits teaching and learning. Building staff morale or the learning environment. A commitment to educational quality and student achievement. And a commitment to professional growth. And again, these are the nominees from the affiliates. And our winner is Bernadette Lucas.
Bernadette Lucas has a vision and together with her faculty and parents, she has transformed Melrose Elementary School into a math, science, and technology magnet. Ms. Lucas gathered all of the school stakeholders to embrace a philosophy for the school framed around the tenets of Daniel Pink's A Whole New Mind and Partnership for the 21st Century Skills. Melrose Elementary has a 24-7, one-to-one laptop program, works with Singapore math, project-based learning, and STEAM, science, tech, engineering, arts, and math. In these financially challenging times, Ms. Lucas has embraced social networking tools to solicit the support needed to implement innovation. Melrose Elementary School was recently recognized as an Apple Distinguished School and has received numerous accolades for academic success. Bernadette says, I'm honored to receive the Q Site Leader of the Year Award. Q is an extraordinary organization that brings focus to meaningful integration of instructional technology. This award is a reflection of the hard work of my students, staff, teachers, and parents. Thank you, Q, and its board of directors. Congratulations. Head down. We'll take another picture just to see. Thank you, Pam. Are you going to remind them about something they ought to do in December? Oh. Yes. Thank you. He told me about this. These are some awards that were previously awarded throughout the conference. And if any of you are here who have won any of those this year, please stand. Making it happen. Gold disc, till, platinum, legislative advocacy. And I'll quickly go through these. Don't want to shortchange anyone. It's exciting that we have this many outstanding educators to award. I love that picture. So, who are you going to nominate? Um, November 15th is that deadline for the affiliates to nominate Outstanding Teacher and uh, Technology in Learning Leadership Till. And individuals and or affiliates have December 6th to nominate Gold Disc, Outstanding Emerging Teacher, and Site Leader of the Year. Well done. Hey, let's hear it for Pam stepping up out of retirement. Well done. All righty. Oh, you know, I was just thinking about this because uh, Ken was gracious enough to take all the photos. This is Ken Shelton. He's on the Q Board of Directors. But I want to acknowledge the work of one Bonnie Marks. If you could stand, Bonnie. Bonnie had this position previously, took photos for how many years? 15, 20? What? So I wanted to publicly thank Bonnie for her long service to Q in many ways, but at least in this role as well. Leroy Finkel, if you, aren't, if you don't re uh, recall or you didn't have the uh, chance to know him, I, I wish I had. Uh, he's the gentleman that uh, was a heart and soul of Q, I was told time and time again. And, and uh, uh, I'm sad that I never got a chance to meet him, but I feel I, I, I get to know him through all of you that did know him. Uh, he has, we have a fellowship in his name. We didn't grant that this year. I'd love to encourage you to think about applying for it. Uh, it is a fellowship that encourages innovation in the classroom, and we're looking for teachers, classroom teachers, that are doing something innovative that a fellowship of $5,000 could assist in, in implementing and scaling it. Uh, so the information is at the Q website, q.org slash Leroy Finkel, uh, and uh, you can find more information there. We'd love to see a slew of, of uh, submissions in the next year in uh, Leroy's memory. So let me do the fancy switch back here and see if we can... Here we go. Bring it back. And here we are. Um, ISTE. We mentioned that they are coming to town. ISTE 2012 is coming to San Diego this June. Q is very thrilled to be the host. Um, you saw Danella come up yesterday and talk specifically about it. And she mentioned that at the end of the keynote today, we're giving away one free registration to the conference. So one lucky attendee gets to go to San Diego. This is registration. Um, and uh, you'd be able to go and attend. And of course, we'll have a Q party there. So maybe clear your schedule a little bit on Tuesday evening. Uh, 
26th or 20, 26th of, uh, of June, and uh, Tuesday evening we'll be at a uh, really nice place um, in downtown San Diego. More details come. Uh, also, it should be noted that I believe the deadline to secure your housing at the Hard Rock Hotel, uh, which is where the Q block is, uh, ends March 27th. So you have just a little window of time uh, within which you can book that room if you haven't already. Uh, we actually have three hotels in the Q block. Uh, the Hard Rock is included, the Westin is another one, and then we also have one just up the road. It's a little further away, but it is much more affordable, so we try to give you a range of choices. Uh, if you haven't done that, you can go to isteconference.org, click on the travel button, and then there's a drop down on the right side that says affiliate login. You'll choose Q, C U E, and that will give you the Q block of rooms. So we'll have a, uh, a Q gathering uh, there at ISTE. So uh, watch for that raffle. You must be present to win. And we also are going to give away registration to next year's Q Conference. So there's a two prizes that you could win. If you have not yet turned your name badge in, there's folks in the back there that can collect your name badge, and that's what we'll use to determine who the lucky winner is. So if you still are wearing your name badge, uh, maybe you want to run that back if you want to enter it.